Well, if you are a baked bread lover, this local bakery is calling your name with some organic ingredients. The always ethically sourced Molly Real is live in Sacramento <laughs> to tell us more. Hello, Molly. Oh, what have you got Whoa. in your hand there? I appreciate that. You know, I feel like I need to apologize to you guys because I'm about to make you so very jealous. Stop Check out this loaf of chocolate panda me. Ready for this? Okay, see, you play too much. <laughs> you play too much. I know. Did the clouds just part? Oh, <laughs> the, are the angels singing? So this this is the chef responsible for that beauty. This is Greg. He is the baker behind Manzanita Bakehouse. And, you know, at the start of the pandemic, a lot of us, you know, our sourdough starters learned how to bake bread. Uh, Greg kind of... <laughs> Had a similar but actually not similar uh, thing. You have an elaborate background in the culinary world. You've had so many incredible jobs, but at the start of the pandemic, you kind of dug into to bread making. Yeah, I did. It was uh, it's just a passion project that, you know, like getting into the pandemic and like leaving my corporate purchasing job, I just really wanted to do something with my hands again. Uh, kind of harken back to when I had a restaurant back in my twenties. I don't know how old I am now. I look differently aged than I'm saying. Um, but in my 20s, when I had a restaurant, it was really about feeding people and feeding community and nurturing people. And that's kind of what our mantra is at the bakehouse is we use local, um, local and organic or locally grown or organically grown ingredients to really kind of emphasize the grower and tell the whole story. Uh, I need to interrupt you right next. We have some stuff coming out of the oven. Oh, okay. You guys, how about that timing? It's literally time to pull some loaves out of the oven. Now how it works, he bakes out of his house. Uh, you order online by four o'clock on Wednesdays. So you have until tomorrow at four. And then uh, you come pick it up Thursday at his house in a land park. Okay, so what are you pulling out right there? Gosh, those are so beautiful. So right there, the ones without the sesame seeds, that is my upper land park sourdough, which is our version of a, a country loaf. It is 20% uh, uh, spring hard wheat from Early Bird Farm and Mill just outside of Tahoe City. Um, and then it's 70% uh, Yokoro Rojo from Cairn Springs in Washington, which is also a really cool uh, mill up north that is really focused on what goes into the flour and what the process is. So there's a lot of like food chain transparency yeah. when it comes to their flour. And I've got 5% of it is rye just to give it a little bit of zip. Ooh. So that's this one right here. That's beautiful. And what about the ones on top? We saw the chocolate pan yeah, The chocolate pan me. We've got kind of more like a shoku pen, also a pan me, but it's a brown butter, <laughs> uh, brown butter, no, not brown butter, uh, brown sugar buttermilk pan me. So it also <laughs> breaks apart kind of just like this one. This is what you want for your, you know, chicken katsu sandwich or something like that, which is okay. really nice. Then over here is our Pullman's, which we really just started doing a couple months ago. And it gives me this, it's, it's the only, it's the same recipe as my country loaf. And I put it into a tin, and it's just fermented a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So it kind of has a nice spongy thing. We can open some up in a second. Yeah, Chef Greg, which one can I eat? That's my next yeah. question for you. <laughs> Have you ever seen something so beautiful? I just, my mouth is watering. How hot are those loaves? <laughs> those ones are super duper hot. Okay. They just came out. <laughs> but we can kind of cut into, let's cut into this one. Okay. Here. Yes, let's get a bite of that. Going. Okay, and so this is cheese. Did you make this cheese? He's also a cheese maker. A yeah, cheese professional. Cheese since I went to Hasn't made cheese since he was in Wisconsin. Okay. Cheese professional though. He is a certified cheese professional. So again, he makes these every week. If you want to order, you go online. Order by Wednesday at four. All oh, sorts of different that. loaves available, as well as I see some cookies every now and then. Yeah, Can I just dig into it? Dig into it. <laughs> we got some. Uh, we got a triple cream. Or a you are just getting French. spoiled today. I got some butter right here. I am a little spoiled. You know what? I uh, I like it that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. I think we need to have a little bit of jam. Okay. Oh, jam. a little jam. Okay. Well, we have to wrap, but okay. I think I need to try this too, just so people know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Good job, Molly. This is the brown sugar. Oh. Wow. Mm. It's like a cloud. <laughs> Oh, you guys. Okay, you have by four o'clock tomorrow to order. Come pick it up at his house in Land Park. I am speechless. This is amazing. Thank you so much. You might want to get happy. there early because she's going to eat a couple of loaves before she leaves. 
Yes, I'm. <laughs> they might. He might sell out this week. <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you. Enjoy, Enjoy Molly. Check us out at the co-op, and also, oh, yes. yeah, you find us at the co-op every Friday morning. Uh, we're there mm -hmm. until we sell out, and then also the Elks Lodge Number no. Six Farmers Market down on Riverside. Oh, right. It's on a here. brand new farmers market, and it's it's getting better every week. Yeah. Lots of ways to get that bread, you guys. Yeah. Good stuff. Why are Thanks, bread makers Molly. so chill? Every bread maker we have on the show is Very always so zen. chill. Very yeah. zen. Oh.